fungus might be coming for your bananas. First, some history. In the 1950s and 60s, the Panama disease essentially wiped out the gross michel, the main variety of banana eaten in the US at that time. So farm workers started planting a different variety called the Cavendish, which proved resistant. That's the type of banana that we mainly find in the US now. But as fungi tend to do, it evolved. And now we're looking at a new strain called Tropical Race 4, or TR4, which does affect the Cavendish. It has spread to Asia, Africa, Australia, and recently South America. TR4 is currently threatening about 80% of banana production worldwide, with the most impact being felt by small farms. The fungus spreads through soil and plant materials. There's no cure and it's super hard to get rid of once the land is infected, lasting in the soil for decades. So how do we save bananas? There are a few researchers working on options right now. One researcher is testing out a Cavendish banana that was genetically modified to be more resistant, and others are working with microorganisms that can make bananas less susceptible. In either case, it definitely raises questions about the way that bananas and honestly other foods are produced right now, specifically via monoculture. When only one variety of a thing is grown and it's grown in mass, like the way that many fruits and vegetables are, entire industries can be taken down by a fungus or disease like TR4. Working to implement more diverse banana varieties could help stabilize the industry not only against fungus and disease, but also the impacts of the climate crisis. 